What's going on, you too, bitch, your boy, CamHL, and welcome back to another NBA High Five video with your boy. Drop a like down below because I already know you're going to love it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment anything in the comment section to enter your name into the $50 giveaway I do every single week on this channel. Welcome back to another video, ladies and gentlemen. It is a great day because it is Friday. It's the end of the week. We're going into the weekend. Prize Picks has been smacking. The new player prop tool on, on uh, Greenlight is absolutely legit, and I have information on that. Some exciting news for y'all if you stay till the end of this video. Um, so, but anyways, uh, greenlightdfs.com. Let's get it tonight. Let's have a big day, and let's get straight into it. So, I'm not going to waste too much of your time. I'm going to make this short and sweet, and then I'm going to show you all a little something exciting. All right, so starting off at point guard, I'm going to go Killian Hayes. Killian Hayes at 5-5 going against the Spurs is a fantastic matchup. He just came back from suspension last game. I believe he got 33 DraftKings points, something like that. This matchup, you can't ask for much better. This kid's been playing good. At only 5-5, I really, really like him. Have him projected over 32, so he, I mean, he's just tremendous value for me today. Uh... Next up, you have Paul George. Now, this is something to keep an eye on, okay, because he is questionable, and it is a possibility that he could rest. Now, Kawhi Leonard is doubtful today. Definitely expected him to rest. He is definitely expected to rest today. So the thing is, is if Kawhi Leonard does, in fact, rest, but Paul George plays, he's going to be fantastic. He's under 9K. I have him projected over 47, so you know, you put him in 9K. I have him over 5X floor easily here in this one. Great spot here for Paul George, especially if Kawhi's off the floor. George usage is going to skyrocket. It's going to be fantastic. So that's definitely something to keep an eye on. If he's out, then obviously don't go this way. So keep an eye on this. But I'm expecting Kawhi Leonard to definitely miss and then George probably give it a go. So uh, we'll see what happens, but pay attention to that. But I do love Paul if Kawhi is out. Next up, we have, I can't spell. Golly. Keldon Johnson. With no Devin Vassell, Keldon Johnson is all of this Spurs offense pretty much. He's 6'8". You round him up to 7K. I still have him projected at 40 today against Detroit. You can't get much better uh, matchup-wise than Detroit or Spurs. This game is a very fantasy-friendly game. Spurs guys, Detroit guys, you want as much as you can because both teams don't play defense, okay? And both is going to be a fantastic spot on either side. So Keldon Johnson at 6'8", still no Devin Vassell. Feels way too cheap for me at small forward. Um, next up, a guy who's been playing really, really well. You have Bradley Beal out of the lineup, so it's going to help him even more. Rui Hachimura's been playing fantastic. It's a great matchup against OKC. He's only 4'7". No Bradley Beal. He just pops as me for a good point per salary option on the slate today. I really like him. And like I said, no Bradley Beal. More uses to go around. Rui's been playing fantastic, so it's just a very solid spot here. I mean, he hasn't gotten under 20 in the last four games. Um, he's He has the upside of 40s range, so at 4-7, I really like him, and I think he could touch that upside tonight with no Bradley Beal. Uh, last but not least, my spend-up of the day is probably going to be LeBron James. Um, I really like LeBron. If you want to save 600 and go hard, and I completely understand with no Embiid, that's fine. Much tougher matchup against Chicago's defense than LeBron has against Atlanta. We saw what LeBron just did the other night against Atlanta, dropping 76 DraftKings points. As we know, there's a lot of injury going on for the Lakers, okay? And there's a ton of usage here for LeBron James. He's in a fantastic spot against Atlanta, which is a high-tempo matchup, good matchup. And uh, this is a great spot for him here. So I love LeBron James at 10-7. He's my spend-up guy that I really like. But, I, but I'm definitely not going to fault you if you want to say, you know what, Embiid's out. I'm going to go Harden. I think Harden has a big game. That's fine. It's just the matchup's not as good. That's why he's projected less for me and doesn't grade out high, as high point per dollar. You see LeBron's at a 5.3. Harden's at a 5.1. Now, so that's the high five. Killian Hayes, Paul George, Keldon Johnson, Rui Hachimura, LeBron James. As of right now, my favorite value plays on the entire slates, Josh Richardson again, Killian Hayes, Keldon Johnson. Zubak pops for me because Minnesota's dealing with big injury, obviously. Um, and Zubak should match up well against Gobert. So he should have to play minutes here. Last night he only played 15 minutes. The coach came out and benched his players in the second half. Um, Zubak was having a decent first half too, so I, I don't know what the hell happened there, but he just was unhappy with what his starters were doing. Played his bench second half. Um, in this game, you know, maybe these starters kind of have a little fire lit in them and come out and have a good game. So I do like Zubak. He's popping solid for me. I'll have him almost at 6X. And like I said, with the uh, the lineups here, with Minnesota having Gobert, 
Uh, Zubas gonna have to play heavy minutes to match up. They don't have many any bigs for the Clippers, so they're gonna have to match up with Gobert. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Gafford grades out pretty well for me. Alec Burks once again, but that's about it, man. We don't have any like super low 3K value outside of Josh Richardson today. So if you need a value, Josh Richardson's fine. At least as of right now, more could pop up later and make things a lot easier. Now, what I said was exciting today is. The NBA player prop tool today is accessible to everyone, okay? If you go to greenlightdfs.com right now, you can use the NBA, you go to member exclusive tools, go to NBA player prop tool, and you can use the NBA player prop tool for absolutely free today. I wanted everyone to have the opportunity. It's Friday. Have the opportunity to have fun, know what the best plays are easily as you can see how i click on difference this moment i get on here because it's not a ma automatically set for the best pit plays you have to sort so as you can see i sort by difference deandre ayton points plus rebounds on prize picks he's at 26.5 vegas has the money on the over 26.5 i haven't projected over 28 so that gives him a difference of 2.19 that means his is a good value tobias harris no joel Embiid. No surprise here that he should be great value. DeAndre Ayton's been popping well for me. Mason Plumley, no uh, uh, Hayward um, going against Milwaukee. They're going to need the size of Mason Plumley down low. I'm expecting him to hit his props as well. He grades out his amazing value. And remember, this updates throughout the day. So as news comes out, the values pop in. You know what I'm saying? Let's say Giannis is ruled out later, right? Um. As soon as Price Picks adds like the updated Drew Holiday line or the updated, you know, Bobby Portis line, that'll be here and you'll immediately know whether it's value or not. Um, so you can also sort by difference again and get the best unders. So these are all going to be unders. If it's a negative, you want to take the under on these. If it's a positive, you want to take the over. So the most plus EV play is actually taking an under right now, as of right now, on the player prop tool. Josh Giddy under points plus rebounds, 25.5. Vegas has the line at 24.5. So the line is one point lower already. And then I have them projected at around 23. So I'm expecting the under on points plus rebounds. And, and as you can see, that's at a minus 2.23, whereas the over 2.19 is the highest. So right now, the most plus EV play, EV play expected value play on the slate, is this minus 2.3 difference for Josh Giddy under points plus rebounds. So I wanted to make this free because this is an amazing tool. As you can see, it's as simple as sorting difference to immediately see the best possible value plays on price picks. No more searching, no more having to go through a whole bunch of information to know whether a player is going to hit this or the possibility of him hitting this. It's not, It's easy now. All you got to do is sort by difference, and I wanted to give everyone the opportunity to be able to use it and realize um, why these tools are so special and, uh, you know, get that money tonight and, you know, on me. There you go. Um, DFS is still members only. You're going to have to hit hit up Greenlight DFS for the DFS stuff, obviously, and for the NBA optimizer access, but the player prop tool is for free for everybody. So have fun, y'all. Enjoy the new tool, um, and let's get this money, y'all. Peace.